Hi, this is Troy Dreyer coming to you from Streaming Media East 2016, where I'm having short conversations with some of the thought leaders of the online video industry. Joining me right now is Chris Wagner, Executive Vice President and Co-Founder of New Lion. Thank Welcome. Well, thank you, Troy. And Chris was here today uh, talking about uh, Ultra HD. Um, we see so much excitement about it, but what's really driving interest in ultra high definition? Well, I mean, I think it's the experience. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm kind of an older guy. I can remember the move from standard definition to HD. Mm -hmm. You know, once you move to HD, did you really want to go back? Uh, and I, the, the same thing is happening with Ultra HD. The experience, the frame rate, you're talking four times the quality of 1080. Mm -hmm. uh, twice the frame rate, I think, you know, standard television is 1080p, 30 frames. So to get a little technical, you're about 4,000 pixels, right? So it's four times 1080 and it's double the frame rate. So for sports, you know, we all have this uh, experience of being in an arena or being in a stadium uh, when you watch live sports. Uh, and I think, and from what my eye sees, when you see a 4K live sporting event, I get the sense that I'm in the arena. I mean, the picture quality is pretty significant. The, the detail around the, you know, the field of play, the audience, the sponsors, the sound, I mean, it's all just very cool. So I think it's what's driving Ultra HD and all the UHD TV shipments, which continue to grow pretty significantly, is the experience. And sports is a, is a passion a lot of fans have, and it's all about the experience. Mm -hmm. So you'd say sports is one of the big content drivers? I think so. You know, when we, are, when we talk to our customers about 4K, uh, many of them um, are planning 4K events for this year. We've already done four. We did a, a big match out of Barcelona uh, for the El Clasico game. We've worked with BT Sports on two 4K events, Univision here in the United States on 4K. Uh, and if you're a UFC fan um, and you have the opportunity to watch UFC in the octagon, four times the quality of 1080 for a live fight, I mean, you're, you're going to watch that because it's, it's pretty cool. Now, you're in the Ultra HD Alliance, right? Your company right. is? Correct. And what is the Alliance doing to make sure that Ultra HD is more about more than just pixels? Well, the Alliance has a number of things, right? There are uh, other Alliance members, including New Line, would be like Dolby, uh, Sony. You know, it's the formation of standards so that uh, when you buy a TV at a Best Buy or another retailer, which, by the way, 4K TVs you can get for eight, 800 bucks now. So, yeah, coming down. so the price points are coming down nicely. And then what the Alliance drives is uh, an assurance that when the consumer watches that 4K picture on that 4K set, that all of us kind of work together around some standards that we can enforce quality, because quality is important and it's an expectation we want the consumer they have when they buy that set and when they get home and plug it in, we want to make sure that they're, they're feeling good about it. I wonder sometimes if we're getting ahead of bandwidth with 4K. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it has to stream. That's the only way we can get it now, but right. how many people have strong enough bandwidth to receive it? Most of the live streaming today is done in 720p. So if you look at all the live streaming companies that you have here, you know, they average between three to five megabits for a non-4K stream, right? So when you go to 4K, it's 18 to 20 megabits. Yeah. So you're talking five to six times more broadband. With that said, I'm a Cablevision guy, right, on Long Island, and I just upgraded my Cablevision service uh, from five megabits to 40 megabits for an extra $10. Right. So, you know, the pipes are there. Uh, cable companies are really turning into internet companies unless you own rights like Comcast or Time Warner. Uh, but the broadband's there, it's coming. Uh, and I think the price points are there, an extra $10 for me to get 35 more megabits across my line, so 4K fits at my house. Uh, so but you're right, it does require more. So that's a good investment, you think? I think so. I mean, when I sit there, I bought the TV, and I get live sports, and Amazon and Netflix have 4K movies, and mm -hmm. you know, I, I see the difference. People come to my house see the difference. Mm -hmm. Very good. Well, we'll be watching the area. Thank you, Chris. And this is Troy Dreyer coming to you from Streaming Media East.